What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 14 of tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway tutorial. In the previous tutorial, I had covered how we can upload a file using API Gateway along with metadata. And now in this tutorial, I will take you through how we can create usage plans and API key. So before we move on, uh, let's consider that you have an endpoint that ideally perform object detection for a given image, right? And now you want the users to try that out and if they like it, then they can go for the paid service. So as a trial, uh, you want that the user should be able to perform five to 10 calls per month, right? So as per your uh, use case or uh, whatever number that you want to set that as a trial, the user will be able to uh, use or invoke that endpoint, right? So uh, this is a kind of scenario and you want to uh, implement that limitation, right? So in that case, uh, you can define usage plans and generate the API keys, right? So let's see how we can do that uh, in API gateway, right? So I have already logged in into AWS management console and I have navigated to API gateway. So here I will open one of the API endpoint. So let's say access file data. So here I want to implement that limitation for this uh, get method and the uh, bucket resource that is ideally the path parameter, right? So to define the usage plans, uh, click on usage plans from the left panel. And once you are within usage plans, click on create. So here we will define a usage plan. So let's configure it. So give it a name. I will say trial, right? Now then uh, we have throttling. So it says enable throttling and it ideally uh, limit the rate at which uh, users can make requests to the API endpoint, right? So here we have to define some numbers uh, that is rate, that is a number of requests per second a user can uh, make and the burst request, right? So let's say uh, I put in rate as uh, 10, right? And I will define burst as probably 5. Right, so ideally the burst is the limit that corresponds to the maximum number of concurrent request submission that API Gateway can fulfill at given point of time, right? Without returning 429 too many request error responses, right? So that's burst. And then uh, we have quota. So ideally it limit the number of requests a user can make to your API in given time period, right? So I will define it as three, right? So as a trial, I want that the user can invoke this API endpoint three times per month, right? So that's why I have defined three requests per month, right? So you can also change it to week, day, or you can select month, right? So I will probably go with month, right? And then uh, click on next. Now here uh, it's asking us to associate the API stage. So stage is something that we create at the time of our deployment, right? Or uh, we can also create uh, manually by going to stages and we can create stage. So here I will say add API stage. Now here uh, it will ask me to select the API endpoint. So it's access file data for me now. And it will ask me to select the stage. So right now in that API, I have only one deployment stage that is version one, right? So I will say version one and I will click on this tick mark. Now, once you have uh, defined or added this stage, uh, it will also let you configure the method throttling, right? So if you click on configure method throttling, so you can add a resource and method over here, right? So it's showing all the resources uh, uh, within that stage, right? So I have upload bucket, right? So you can select uh, those uh, method and resources and you can uh, define the rate and burst, right? So right now I'm going to leave it blank. I'm not configuring it, but you can also configure throttling at the method level, right? So I will close this. Now, once you add the stage, click on next. Now here it's asking us to uh, 
create or attach the API key with this usage plan, right? So right now I don't have any API key. So what I will do is I will say create API key and add to usage plan. So I will select this. And here I have to give a name to that API key. So I will say trial API and you can select auto generate or you can define your custom key, right? So I will say auto generate and say save. Right. So as you can see, the API key has been added over here and finally you can click on done. Right. So now this is your usage plan. You have attached the API endpoint stage with this uh, usage plan and we have also bind the API key, right? So you can look at the API key from here, click on this API key and here uh, within API key, you can click on show, right? So yet uh, we have defined or created the API key via usage plan, right? Uh, but you can also uh, directly create the API key and you can bind that API key with the usage plan, right? So it's something like access file data. So you can go to API key and you can say click on action and create API key, right? And you can give it a name. I'll say trial one, say save. Right. And here uh, it's giving you the option to add to usage plan, right? So you can click on this and you can name the usage plan. So I think it's trial for me, right? And you can click on this tick mark. So uh, this is how you can uh, create the usage plan first and you can create the API key later on and bind it to the usage plan, right? So this is one of the way. So now uh, the API key has been created, right? So this is how you can define usage plan and bind the API key with that. So well, uh, that's it for now. In the next tutorial, I will cover how we can use this API key that we have created in this tutorial with the method or the stage that we have uh, bind with this usage plan, right? So well, that's it for now. Until that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.